you know, if you've listened to this podcast more than once, that we are all about education. We never talk about what you should do. We talk about what you could do. You are listening to Wealth Talks, and today you have a special treat coming up. We have a special guest for you. Before we go there, the Wealth Cruise is coming right up. It's less than six weeks out, October 19th through the 26th in the Eastern Caribbean. Uh, You can call our office. There's still room on board the ship, so call our office at 702-660-7000. I'll also have the resource link in the podcast show today for you. So come on the Wealth Cruise and get to experience the wealth that goes along with that. And we'll be talking a little bit more about the cruise later on, so stay tuned and find out uh, why you need to be there so that you can make the right decisions in your life. That's right. So to introduce our special guest today, uh, we have on the line Dustin Matthews. When I think of Dustin, I think of somebody that's always smiling in a genuine way. Dustin is always smiling when you're around him. He's a a pleasure to be around. He has a background in marketing. He's an author. Uh, He's been a speaker as well. He's taken two companies to the Inc. 500 list and uh, overseen several different product launches that have done very well. He says that he sees a lot of shooting stars in the industry. Uh, You know, they, they can make a lot of money and then they lose it in the end and they just are left with the stories. And so, it's really about creating a legacy that will outlast that. And so Dustin is on the line with us, and he has made a little bit of a change in, in his career in the last few years, and we're looking forward to, uh, to hear more about that. Dustin, welcome well, to the show. Well, thanks for having me on. I'm, uh, I'm thrilled to be here, and uh, I think it's appropriate. You said shooting stars, and uh, what's, what's funny is I have been in this world of, of education and seminars and there, like you say, there is a great opportunity to educate folks and, and, and generate a lot of, of cash doing so or revenue. Uh, the challenge is a, a lot of people in that industry, myself included, uh, when I was in it, uh, it becomes addicting. And so I am thrilled to, to be on the show to talk about lessons learned and, and how I pivoted from that. And uh, just to you know, give at least one person listening to the show, maybe, maybe many others, uh, you know, some insights uh, so they, too, uh, don't have to go down that path. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dustin, you and I met um, at an event in Tampa, Florida, that you and your partners were hosting. Um, and I initially came to that to learn how to speak a little better from the platform and uh, was introduced to your marketing as well at that time, which has been just um, an amazing turnaround for us because so much of the marketing that's available today is um, it's it's kind of cheap. It's not sincere. And I saw in you a sincerity that you were trying to bring quality to the public and let them decide uh, what they needed uh, based on the uh, accurate and true information. That's that's absolutely right. I mean, there is no shortage of ways to get the message out about a business uh, of movement or a mission. However, what, what's it's the trick is finding the most effective way that is true to you, and uh, sometimes that's not easy depending on the environment uh, that you're in. And so I appreciate uh, that, that distinction. Thank you. Well, you've left that company now, and you've got a story behind that. I think. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I sort of alluded a little bit to it is that, you know, in the world, I was very uh, fortunate and grateful to you know meet folks like you and be able to you know show you a thing or two that I had picked up along the way and, and make a dramatic difference. And, and uh, you know, for you and, and for many others. And in doing so, you can be handsomely rewarded, if you want to call it that, or compensated, you know, fairly, fairly nicely. But oftentimes, uh, if you're not thinking long term, uh, w- which was, you know, my case, uh, at, at that point, you, you know, you become addicted to these these spikes in revenue, and, and we know that, you know, that is 
a very small part of the, the wealth equation as you guys teach the perpetual wealth code. Uh, it, it's just very uh, uh, tempting. And so what happened was, is I knew very early on that this is what takes place in this industry. But, you know, having been in there and being tempted, uh, it was very easy uh, to, to go down that path. And so one day I uh, woke up, if you want to call it that. And, and really what prompted that was there was a passing. My grandmother had passed away. And, you know, what was interesting, what I remember at that point was uh, I wasn't supposed to get up and talk at the at the service, but I did. And, and it wasn't even I don't even remember what I had said. I just remember kind of looking down at my body as I was speaking. And um, the question kind of deposited in my mind. It's like, do I want to be on this path in five years? And I and I said, no. And then so I said, OK, well, what about three years? And the answer was no. And then I said one year. And, and, and what followed was. <laughs> Oh crap. Like I, meaning that I had to do something like, I, you know, I'm not the type of guy just to sit back. So I said, man, one year, I don't want to be on this path. I have to do something. And so I decided mm-hmm. to exit, which wasn't fun. It wasn't easy. It wasn't what I dreamed about. Uh, and in a way I was expecting some sort of big payday, like, like many entrepreneurs, I think mm-hmm. that are out there, uh, especially the ones that, that don't follow you yet or not enacting the, guy, the things that you guys teach. Mm-hmm. And uh, that never came for me. And so I said, okay, I'm going to take some time off. And I was very fortunate to be in a position to do so. Um, And then I said, I need to go build and create again. And I said, this time around, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to put myself in a new environment. I'm going to surround myself with different people. And I'm going to make sure that I'm uh, surrounding myself with great information, uh, financial information, because I don't want to I don't want to look back over nine years because that's how long I was there and say, man, I wish I had contributed more to my wealth. I wish I had you know, yes. placed smarter, wiser investments. I wish I had managed my money better. And so that's what I did. And it wasn't easy, uh, but I'm so grateful uh, to have arrived at that and then acted upon that and, and now have changed the trajectory for not only me, but my family uh, with what I'm to now. Mm-hmm. Well, you know that um, we don't get wealthy, we don't get stronger, we don't get healthier by just doing passive things. It's always the challenges, uh, the disturbances in our life that make us stronger. And this is true with wealth too. You know, Warren Buffett has uh, said, the best way to get wealthy is slowly. <laughs> and Absolutely. <laughs> you know, a lot of people in the world, especially us Americans, we're pushing so hard because we're into instant gratification and instant satisf- satisfaction. We want the wealth today. And it's like the old proverb, you know, a stove, give me some heat and then I'll put a little wood in you. Uh, sometimes <laughs> it doesn't work that way. You know, we've got to we've got to go through these challenges. And so um I really admire you for making that career switch. I did a career switch very similar to that from chiropractic to talking about wealth and educating people about money and finances. And really when it comes down to it, I love the name of the the new company, WealthFit, that you're with because wealth has a whole lot more to do with about who we are rather than what we have. And and you're I'm with you. Yeah, your whole would, program would, is about teaching people would, what's out there. Yeah, th- that's right. I mean, wealth fits, and I, I have to say it slow because sometimes, uh, you know, people do a double take. And so the the premise is this: you go to a gym and you get a trainer, off, oftentimes, and the trainer makes you physically fit. Well, we believe, uh, just like like you guys teach, that you need uh, educators, you need education, you need information, and so in the same way, uh, we be we built wealth fit to find. Uh, alternative information that that's out there, not the stuff that the, the masses uh, subscribe to, but folks that want to take a different route, maybe uh, you know counter uh, counter traditional information, and we put together in a platform, and and it really it really reminds me of the journey that I've gone through, which is you know oftentimes you, you just want to learn how to manage your money better mm-hmm. first. Then once you you have cash flow understanding, just you know, like you guys teach the seventy twenty ten, um, you, once you have those, those under understanding, then you may find that you have some extra money that you can now invest and put your money to work for you. And so we have a you know we we teach that part of the journey. And then finally, some, some people choose very much like you, Doctor McPhee. Some people choose to build a business uh, around it so they can you know experience different levels of freedom and and, and legacy. And so 
sort of that journey from money management to investing, managing your own money, I should say, personally, then to investing that money and putting it to work for you and then, you know, introducing you to uh, businesses that you may be able to start. That is our journey coupled with coupled with something that you, you said that is very near and dear to my heart, which is personal growth. And, and so mm-hmm. you don't generally arrive at a place without growing yourself, challenging, going through obstacles. And so we, we cover that as well. And uh, I'm thrilled because every day I am learning wealth uh, in some form or fashion. And that's not just financially, uh, as you pointed out, it, it's in all areas of your life. And, and that's what we do here at WealthFit. Mm-hmm. Well, that's so true because, you know, Jesus talked about you don't put new wine in an old wineskin. Otherwise, the wineskin will burst and then the wine <laughs> and the skin is destroyed. You got to put it. And so we have to become different people in order to experience different things. And if we want to experience better health, better wealth, uh, more satisfaction in our relationships or anything, we have to become a different person. We have to we have to develop. Mm-hmm. So true. So true. And, and this past year, or I would say past two years, really, my transition from my, my previous venture into what I'm doing now, uh, one of those years being the, the darkest years, I, I feel, because my ego was attached to, to my business, which I, I believe, you know, is something I had to learn. And, and I hope uh, folks don't have to learn uh, that and, and can take my word for it. Uh, but you know, you, you are you are more than your business. You are more than your title mm-hmm. at work. You are are more than the labels there, and um, you know, know this too. I also know that people do have to go through those dark times uh, to experience what's on the other side of it. And if you never take that leap, uh, you may never get what you're looking for or, or truly desire in, inside. And so it's not easy. Uh, but it, you know, it sure is fun when you look on, look back over it <laughs> to see the growth. You can see the journey. Yeah. So Hind- hindsight's yep, always twenty right. twenty, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So yep, wealth, right. wealth fit is all about bringing people uh, to um, experience different ideas and thought processes about generating wealth and things like that. And uh, for those of you that are um, longtime listeners of uh, Wealth Talks. You'll find ideas on WealthFit that actually are completely different than what we teach on Wealth Talks. Mm -hmm. And that's fine because you have to discover what is out there that fits your values. And (laughs) I want to... I want to jump in here uh, and, 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 and to let people know, you know, the inside and, and, and share, you know, some of the things that happened that you may never get to hear. And so uh, when I decided to partner with the team at, at WealthFit, I had known the, the, the McFees for quite some time and, and uh, had, uh, you know, subscribed to uh, participating whole life policy. Uh, and my previous venture, that, that was, you know, one of the wiser decisions I made. Now, I never executed on it, meaning I just contributed uh, to the funding of that policy, just growing uh, the cash value of, of that policy. And so when I arrived here, you know, I arrived with, you know, this is the way. And uh, my partner said, well, we subscribe to this this other way. And, and I say, <laughs> well, uh, you know, what are we going to what are we going to do here? And so we arrived at. Uh, uh, we arrived at, you know, providing people with things that we believe in here and in, inside the company, things that are alternative, uh, things that you know, maybe the, the masses don't know about um, and, and things that people would say, you know, I, I, you know, that seems a little weird. And, I, and I'm sure you guys get that about mm-hmm. participating whole life. And so um, we we decided as a company that we would provide different viewpoints from the people on the inside, not like we're just going to go out there and shop ideas, but things that we believed in as the, the team here mm-hmm. uh, and put it forth and let people decide. And, and so uh, I know this might sound a little like heresy, but you know, my, my partners are, uh, at least one of them is, is, is in favor of index universal life and that's fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and obviously I'm in the other camp and in, in the McPhee camp here. And so uh, we are representing uh, both of those inside of wealth and really letting folks decide uh, which one is right for them. Yeah, so so if you check out the courses on WealthFit, including two of the courses that uh, the McPhees, uh, that, we've, that we've contributed to that, you will see conflicting information with some of the different uh, the different options on there. But it's, it's an educational um, classroom 
uh, if, if you will, that's bringing together all these different ideas. You're the one then that needs to sort through them. Maybe you'll find something that helps you. Um, and, and maybe you'll, you'll find other things that will cause you to grow this, in your thinking as well. This makes me think back to when I was going to college and as, as a chiropractic student, um, there was a medical doctor on staff that taught us differential diagnosis. And um, I disagreed with almost everything he taught. <laughs> and, but it challenged me to find out what I really believed and why I believed it. And so that's what I see WealthFit doing is, is throwing out these ideas that have uh, worked to a certain degree with the people that are bringing them to the table here. That otherwise, they wouldn't be presenting them. But it's always up to you to decide what is going to be your truth, what is going to fit your values, and how you're going to move forward. Um, very similar to reading a book. I've never read a book that I agree 100% with, um, except maybe the scripture. But guess what? You can always learn something from somebody. And that's why we uh, are having this conversation, Dustin. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I'm grateful that you were part of it. You know, I think that's the telling of, of life. Like you, you meet people along the way, you get exposed to new ideas, new communities, new environments and, and information. And you, you know, the best advice I, I could pass along is you take what you like and, and disregard w what you don't, you know, let it challenge you, let it strengthen your, your arguments. And so I was fortunate enough to meet you at the previous venture but then also take the best of uh, my relationships and the information and, and bring you forward into what we're doing here at WealthFit. And because of that, uh, now we have a complete, uh, I feel, a more complete picture when it comes to a representation, I should say, uh, of life insurance uh, here and, and people in my camp uh, to advocate you know, you know, what you guys teach so, so well. <laughs> Well, as we um, as you listen to the podcast, you'll you'll recognize from a couple episodes we uh, ago we talked with Chris Donham, uh, who will be on the Wealth Cruise coming up here in in October. Chris was talking about something uh, that you know truth, you know the, these different uh, educational things that you have the opportunity to hear out there on the internet, whether it's at WealthFit, whether it's different educational platforms. They're all promoting some sort of um, a product strategy, something to grow your wealth. And, you know, truth, as we were talking about with Chris Don, truth is something that's exclusive. So it's something that you have to think through because um, you, so people will talk about, well, it's my truth or it's your truth, but the uh, truth is not relative. It's actually exclusive. And so that's something that you have to keep in mind. You have to think through the various things that you see out there online. And when you do, that will help you grow personally. It will also help you grow your wealth. It's an important part of your development in the process. It is. And it, we see this, um, you know, as a chiropractor, I saw this uh, very much so involved in uh, the healthcare arena. Uh, when I was getting my training in the early 80s, uh, medicine was changing the way it operated. It went from being more objective to being more subjective. And the fact that uh, people began to be asked about their pain tolerances. In fact, is a lot of what medicine is today is about how can I control your pain rather than how can I cure your disease. Mm -hmm. And so that's a truth shift. That's a paradigm shift that's taken place. And I believe in medicine, that's what's driven the opioid epidemic so, so fast is that people are trying to control people's pain rather than to treat the underlying symptom, uh, the symptoms or objective cause of the symptoms. So in wealth, it's the same thing. You know, if we're just looking for the get rich quick thing, the thing to get us out of financial pain, we're going to end up having some, some issues that uh, are deeper related than just the pain itself. An addiction problem. And it's, it's just addiction to something else. And that's what I, I like about what you've done, Dustin, with WealthFit is you've, you've, you've not just honed in on one thing, but you're giving people kind of a smorgasbord of what's out there so that they can align their values with what's there when they listen. That's, that's right. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. You know, what I, what I say is, you know, in school, they, they never taught us this, this stuff. Uh, not, not in my school, I should say, uh, I know <laughs> they're out there and if you're homeschooled, you get to choose. Uh, but you know, when I was growing up, you know, I never learned this stuff. They didn't teach us how to, to balance a checkbook or manage money. They definitely didn't teach us to be entrepreneurial. They didn't teach us, you know, so much of, of what you teach, you know, with the perpetual wealth code and, and this alternative information. And so, so that's, 
that's the idea behind it is to bring this education to more people that really choose to go a different way, that really want to make an impact for their family and, uh, you know, on their, on their, on their wealth and their freedom. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, if you look at what everyone else is getting and you don't like the results, then you have to ask yourself if you want to keep doing what everyone else is doing to create wealth, or if you want to choose that alternative path, it'll mean some changes. It'll mean different choices that you make along the way, but ultimately you can end up having both when people that tried to get both in the beginning will end up having an either or choice to make down the road. So, so Dustin, um, could you share a little bit about how your you and your family are using your uh, participating whole life policies? Yeah, yeah, uh, and this is this is good advice. You know, uh, I, I say good advice. I, I believe it is. It, it really hit me. Uh, I really hope this serves as good advice. Is what I should say to folks. So, you know, when I met McFee's, when they communicated to me what I, I deemed to be a complicated uh, subject. Uh, it made sense to me. And, and and although at the time I didn't fully grasp what, and, and every day I keep learning more about it and actually working with them here at WellFit helped me solidify a lot more things. And then also uh, being here at WellFit, you know, exposed me to the other side of the spectrum, which strengthened my understanding of, of the thing that I believe in, you know, participating whole life. So but I said all that to say, when I first got started, I just, I knew that working with you guys was the right thing. I, I saw that glimpse of, here I am in a sort of cyclical chasing, you know, these peaks in revenue, but, but the perpetual wealth code and, and participating whole life was, was something that like just really spoke to, to me. So I invested and, and I, I moved forward, I should say, and, and, and subscribed and, and had a policy. And all I did was fund it and fund it and fund it. It wasn't here until I got to uh, WealthFit that I actually executed on it. And so maybe there's a couple of people listening in that, that had a very similar experience well, you know, I had my third baby and, uh, the, you know, four runner sport utility Congratulations. Uh, car, <laughs> thank you, uh, wasn't going to cut it. Yeah. And so we needed to get a minivan. And so I went to the, to the dealership and negotiated there and we ended up, uh, getting financing through, through the dealership. And it hit me about like two or three weeks later. And I, I was thinking, man, I, I had this life insurance policy. So I emailed Michelle I emailed the office and I said, man, did I make a mistake here? And she asked me a couple of questions and she's like, well, you know, the interest rate on, on, from the policy actually is, is a lot lower. And you, you probably, you know, if you could have said, you know, I'm going to pay in all cash versus gone through, through financing, you may have negotiated a better deal. And so uh, even though like I was so close, right. And, and you know, this is life, it, it, you know, there's no right or, or wrong path, but if I, if I can be that wake up call to somebody, like I had a policy and I, I, I am maximizing it because we paid all that off and I'm using my policy and I'm getting the benefit of that. Mm-hmm. However, it, had I maybe slowed down or maybe had I asked uh, or, you know, consumed one of those newsletters, even more uh, detail that you guys send out, uh, you send to me, um, I may have been able to engineer a, a better deal. And I, I think that's what, what wealth is, is about. It, it's not about always you know, picking the right thing. It's about learning along the way. And so now I know for next time, but, but I would say if there are people out there that have a policy and you have a big life event, uh, like, like I did having a baby and, you know, needing to upgrade, uh, you know, the car, uh, you know, th- there are assets and there are things underneath you. It's up to you to reach out to people, uh, Nick fees, particularly in this case, uh, or life benefits to determine what, uh, how you can best leverage that. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for bringing that up because, you know, if you're listening and and you have uh, just been married, you're moving, you have an appliance go out, you need a car, any of these major things in your life, we always encourage you to give us a call because we don't want you to lose money. Uh, losing money is easy, but it's painful. Our goal here at Life Benefits is to help you keep more of the money you make. Because, um, you know, nobody's going to take care of you like you can take care of yourself. And you can do that a whole lot better if you have more money than less. Absolutely. So the Wealth Crew is coming up. Uh, We're looking forward to that October 19th through the 26th. There's still room on the ship. Give us a call to get the details on that, 702-660-7000. I'm also putting the resource link in um, in the podcast resources for you. Uh, also include the resource link to the McPhee courses on WealthFit, so you can check those out. Uh, Dad, you did a course on the Perpetual Wealth Code, 
And uh, mom and I did a course on getting out of debt, how you manage your budget, how you can pay off your debt. So when you get out of debt, you're not just out of debt, but you have something to show for it. So many people get on those, these get out of debt programs today and they, uh, they get their debt paid off. Yep. It works. But then they have nothing to show for it. It's such an empty feeling. They're back at zero. So if you can pay off your debt and actually have something to show for it, you're way ahead of the game. And that's uh, that. So those are a couple valuable resources that you will be able to access on the podcast today. So Dustin, I want to thank you again for joining us and our audience. Um, is there any final words you'd like to give to everybody today? You know, you know, what's funny and, and comes to mind is something I used to say in my previous venture that, that's sort of like really hitting me right now. And it's this, whatever your goal is, maybe it's lose weight, uh, find the love of your life, you know, uh, grow your wealth. Uh, if you will just commit to taking one small action a day, and it can be a small action is defined as listen to a podcast or pick up the phone or go to a seminar or read an article or pick up a book, you know, just something. If you take one small action a day, what what ends up happening, if you'll commit to that for a year, you'll have taken 365 actions towards your goal. And oftentimes you'll find out it won't take you 365 days because you're building this thing called momentum. And so Mm -hmm. just take one small action a day keep that chain going. And oftentimes you'll surprise yourself and you'll end up where you desire a whole lot quicker. That's a good advice. Yes. Well, thank you again, Dustin. I value your friendship. Thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedule. Be with us this this morning as we record this podcast and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. You are listening to Wealth Talks, where we talk about solutions, money, and other things that create wealth in your life. Have a wonderful week.